had such a warm embrace from the city when we came to work here. And, and from my point of view, the city really emerges as one of the main characters in the piece. Yes, it starts in Atlanta, it finishes in Atlanta, but most of the film is driven here in Miami. And there's an undeniable sensuality uh, and heat. It's palpable to this place, and it really has a, it just has a really beautiful tone to the film. I mean, it, you, it, you can't, you can be no other place than in Miami when you look at the film. It's like a marriage. The first film was like a marriage after five years. This is like a marriage, like jumped to 15 years. They hate each other, but they love each other. And that's really the core. I mean, you have two uh, expert artists like working off each other in tandem. You have Kevin, who's the perfect professional comic slash clown. He's not afraid to look silly. He's not afraid to bring out the inner child, which is the, the source of a lot of the comedy in the film. And then you have Cube, who's like, iconic as a straight man. I mean, the only way you can get the kind of fun you get out of Kevin in this film is to have Cube with that, that flaring nostril and a snarl, like anything he throws at him, it just pings off him and lands on the ground. But they really understand each other. They, they, Cube in particular, you could say more sometimes with a look than he can with a word. And so the alchemy that the two have together really is a, a kind of gold. Possible, man. I mean, you get then you get Kevin and Ken together in the same scene, and it's like, you know, two comics. It's like, there's nothing worse than two comics trying to top each other. No one's gonna get the final word. But usually, you know, because of this film, it's Kevin. <laughs> Kevin gets the final word. Are you kidding me? We shot the movie in Miami. We're back in Miami for a big old premiere and a big old party. What could be better? We have the whole crew here. We brought them back. Kev's here. Cube's here. Olivia Munn, Benjamin Bratt, Ken Jeong, Tika Sump, it's awesome. It's such a good time. Here's the thing, when you have a success like the first one, you don't think about topping it, you just think about being true to it. You think about making something that is true to the original and that speaks to the same elements. That's got the funniness, got the humor, it has the heart, and it's got the action. But what we did was we upped the ante this time on each of those. We upped the humor, we upped the heart, and we definitely cranked up the action. That chemistry is incredible, that's what it is. It's a real, natural, organic chemistry. Those guys, they actually, when the cameras are off, they're clowning around the exact same way. That's who they are. It's a real chemistry. And we just turn the cameras on and let them burn. You know what, uh, probably Ken Jong. Ken Jong, he is just, he loves life with such a fervor. So he's the one, and he has his own silliness and his own like manic energy that he brings. So he was the guy that would do take after take and would crack his own self up with his own jokes and say, let me do it again, let me do it again. The one person who never ever cracked, Ice Cube. He doesn't crack. The key grip would crack before Ice Cube would crack. The entire crew would be laughing. Ice Cube doesn't crack. It's so hard. Chemistry. I mean, I think the whole cast had chemistry, especially Kevin and, and Cube. They had this amazing um, back and forth thing. And it, it was the perfect mix of funny, 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 dead pan, deadpan, deadpan, shut up, sit down. You know what I mean? Like, it was a perfect mix. And, and then bringing in all the characters and, and love and, and being clumsy and just I don't know, I just feel like it just all worked, and Tim Story is a genius to me. Um, I love him as a director. Will Packer knows what he's doing as a producer. Obviously, Universal knows what they're doing. So it all just kind of worked, and I don't even think anybody knew how great it was. I think on set we knew it was magic, but, you know, you never know. You always have your fingers crossed. But the people, have, they, they basically said, yeah, we love it. So hard to keep a straight face. I mean, I broke character so many times with Kevin, and he just loves to see that happen. You know what I mean? And literally, I've never seen a crew, a whole crew, laugh. Usually, the crew guys are like, I'm ready to go home. You know, they were laughing. They enjoyed being on set with us. So, you know, it's good when they're enjoying it. Yeah. I mean, Miami's full of sexy people, good food, good music, good clubs, good turn up. You know what I mean? So, why not? This is the place to be. I mean, it's a hot, sexy town. I am so happy. I'm so proud. I'm so grateful for the opportunity. And I'm just grateful to be surrounded by talented people. And um, I'm happy.
Thank you.